Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. This is day 344 of posting a chess puzzle every day for a year. And this one's going to be from a game between Magnus Carlsen as white and um, Maxime Bachelier Lagrave as black. So, uh, MVL just played bishop a3. I'm trying to exchange off white's uh, powerful bishop on b2. And Magnus responded with a really good move in this position that allowed him to win the game in just a few moves. Please pause the video now, comment down below what you think white did here. So Carlson sacrifices one of his knights with knight g f6 check. If MVL doesn't take this, obviously, he was going to be completely worse. For example, king f8, we're just going to play queen takes h7, this will force g takes f6, and now we play f takes g6, and white will be winning. This will later transpose into what happened in the game, where after g takes f6, g takes f6, MVL plays queen b4, holding on to the bishop on a3. MVL, I mean, Carlson plays knight g5, attacking the pawn on h7, threatening queen takes h7 and queen takes f7 checkmate. MVL tries to escape with king f8, but this is futile since Carlson's just going to play queen takes f h7 with the idea of playing queen takes f7 checkmate next. Rook d7 is MVL's only move, protecting against the f7 uh, attack. And then Carlson finishes it off with bishop takes d4. The idea is that the rook is overloaded. The f7 pawn cannot be protected, so queen takes f7 checkmate is now possible. Since black cannot take this rook, MVL resigned here since white has uh, a few extra pawns as well as having qu the queen on h7, the pawn on f6, and black will be probably be mated very soon, if not lose a bunch of material because of white's devastating attack. So thank you for thank you guys for watching. Hope to see you in day 345. Have a wonderful night.